leadership of uh, uh, the MPP, they took a, a decision, so to speak, and has led to a lot of ramifications. Uh, concerns have been expressed. We're even told that uh, apparently some members of parliament were not too happy with the way the decision uh, was taken. Not about the decision that was taken, uh, but it's about Paul Afoko, the, um, the, the various uh, avenues that are available for him now to seek redress. What are they? I'm not interested in the avenues for Paul Afoko. He's well aware. He has a legal team that has been making noise for God knows how long. The man has been suspended. If he has any issues, he should go to the law courts or whatever. I even hear he wants to form his own party. He should hurry up. Seriously, from day one, knowing who he is and my interaction with him dating back to 2009, I knew we were in for trouble. And I wish this decision had come earlier. This party would have been far gone and doing well. But ne uh, better late than never. We, we've gotten rid of him, and for goodness sake, let's focus on what is uh, before us. Because Paul never intended to assist Nanado to become president. Why and do you I'm, make those conclusions? I have a personal experience with him. In 2009, you know he has uh, this Freedom Institute being run by uh, Andrew Awuni? Freedom Institute. It is for Paul Apoko. I was interviewed to head that uh, 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 institute based on my research background. The, f the only question he asked me when the board of directors met was whether I support Nana or Alan. And I insisted that I am bringing a particular expertise to bear to do this work. And for me, that has nothing to do with the uh, question you've asked me. And he insisted. I either answer that or I leave. And I gave him an answer. And it wasn't favorable to him because I said, look, of the two candidates currently that you mentioned, in any case, there's no race. But if it came to me choosing between them, I'll go for Nana. Okay. And then what happens? Well, somebody will say that Hold you on. saying no, this, no, 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 as I'm a result of that, Richard, you're Hold very on. much biased towards, towards the man. So your communication and whatever will be the content Absolutely of your combination not. will be very much biased no. towards the man. Roland, I'm going to give you facts and uh, uh, issues that have transpired over the period. That institute was set up to virtually derail Nanes' uh, 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 presidential. You've uh, not been fair. That institute has been able to convene press conferences and come out with uh -huh. various inside issues on corruption, etc., in our country. Not even bothering on the subject of the MPP. Can you oh, give me one that, press that conference is, on the issue? That is the public charade or the public face of it. Behind the scenes, do you know what it's being used for? Look, be that as it may. If you have a chairman who, in the next meeting, will pull out a gun. We have no business having him there. I was surprised the party tried to shield this thing. We should have there and then seen that we are heading for a ditch with this person in charge. The party elders tried. They have been massaging Apoko's egos for too long. For goodness sake, we can have him working for the NDC in, in an MPP boat. There is no way that was going Why to Why do you work. make the conclusion he's working for the NDC or let's say an intelligence language is compromised. Why do you make those conclusions? How come that every style of leadership of his, everything he says and does is to the benefit of the NDC? Why do you make those conclusions again, once again? If your presidential candidate is on the road, immediately you have a press conference about corruption and that you and your presidential candidate are fighting corruption and that there's corruption in the party. When you have issued statements to banks and ordering them not to uh, 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 give or uh, recognize other signatures who are legitimately by constitutional uh, uh, provisions uh, right to, to uh, have uh, access to those accounts. What will inform that? What will inform a chairman of a party, okay, actually getting the police service to come and investigate an issue of internal financial dealings. When he himself, the chairman, has set up a committee to investigate the same matter, tell me who that benefits. Which chairman will call for a meeting at a hotel and have armed uh, uh, bodyguards around as his protection, and then call the others to come there? Why do we have a party headquarters? They have been massaging his egos for too long, seriously. 
I am the most happiest man today because Paul is no more. He can write, I hear he has written congratulating uh, who? Alassane Ouattara or whoever. He is doing that in his personal capacity. He shouldn't fool himself. And there are people issuing statements, they batch and force. Please, they should stand well. If you want, go and uh, form your own party and move on. Go and ask Reku Grobe when he formed the UFP, where, where it got him. Move on. If Bar and Four and the, uh, uh, you saw what happened when we went into the contest of the presidential primaries. Bar and Four is a special aid to Dr. Apraku. I, there were documents, papers written, giving historical, religious, spiritual reasons why Nana would never be president from that camp. And you tell me these people are working uh, uh, for MPP to come to power in 2016. Please. Well, that was the primaries. That was the primaries. Yes. And the same person is still out there talking and issuing threats. I'm saying that the MPP has moved on. If they have any grievance, the law courts are there. If they want, like I'm hearing from our focus uh, aides and, and, and people, they would uh, form their own party. They should hurry up and stop wasting our ears. Mm. Well, you talk about revolution. This seems like a revolution in the, in the, in the MPP. What do you say, Ernesto? Well, he says the MPP has moved on. I say the MPP has fallen off. Why? This is clearly a party in crisis. This is a party um, whose center cannot hold. Um, it's not as if other political parties, including <laughs> ours, uh, don't have some of these, how do you call it, um, human institutional problems or frictions. But it's the way and manner that they have been handled. Um, I can recall that under the leadership of our own chairman and leader, Samia Yaba in um, there were times that uh, there were such fractious, I mean, relationships, but it took some maturity and tact to be able to hold the party together. Today, it is clear that the MPP is no longer concerned about things that, I mean, concerns we, the people, and I'll give you one example. Just a few days ago, the PRLC invited political parties to have a conversation over uh, the basis for utility tariff increase. The MPP couldn't present any representative. Just yesterday, I'm hearing on the news once again that the MPP intends to boycott our do you call Well, it? we'll discuss that. No, but, don't don't preempt no, pre what we no, have no, to discuss. Yes, but I'm making a point that these are features of a dysfunctional, I mean, political opposition, where very important issues don't become important any longer, simply because they have to concentrate on resolving their internal crisis. And that's the fear you have, Don't that as opposition for which a government uh, you exactly. perceive may not be performing well, and then, you, are turning, you are turning your arsenals on yourselves. and on Exactly. Okay. And then on the issue of policy, I mean, over the last four years or so that the NDC has been in government and the MPP has been in opposition, what has been the policy alternative that the MPP has offered? Well, they've had internal problems. They have to deal with those first. Of course. And, and, and so I'm saying that this is why the MPP is a dysfunctional opposition. On the issue of EPA, a policy agreement that would mean that more than 80% of European goods and services would come into our country without any form of taxation. In less than 18 months, more than 40,000 jobs would be lost. President Mahama has signed that agreement. And if you talk about the AP, what we're talking MPP's, about the economic partnership agreement. Exactly. What is the MPP's I mean, position on that? Zilch. Talk about genetically modified foods. I mean, something that endangers so, so, so all you're saying is that they are important issues of national concern and the that, MPP, that, that a big opposition party like the MPP, which has been in government before, of course your party too has been in government before, exactly. would have been concentrating on. But because it's saddled with its own internal problems, uh, now would have to concentrate on resolving those to now, the detriment of the national Good. Issues. And now there's this issue about and its perception, the tribalism that is at play in the new patriotic party. Well, they are, they, they, there's no well, tribalism as far as we're concerned. Well, before Paul Afoko was, how do you call it, elected, um, there was this propaganda that they wanted, the MPP was 
so much, I mean, trying to avoid. And that was a propaganda that the MPP was an Akans People's Party, and that people of different tribal origins had no place in the MPP. So now the basis for which Paul Afoko himself was elected was actually tribal in order to resolve that, I mean, the, the pain of that propaganda and to create the impression that there's nothing wrong with that. They had a perception. No and problem. as far as political communication was concerned, no. you needed aesthetically to send a certain message to no problem. So the when, people that when, you said. When tribe becomes the basis of electing the officers of your party, then, I mean, certainly, you, you, and, and, and competence and uh, uh, how do you call it, loyalty and all those kind of values don't play in. This is where, I mean, but you, Ernesto, you, you would agree is he was not elected on issues of tribe because I believe within the MPP it is stated in their constitution or by their own guidelines and the norms. You don't campaign, you don't send messages out there based on tribe. I'm so saying that it I, came I, up. I, I think it I, came I, up. I, yes. It came up. It, it, may, it may be part of the rhetoric around. It came up. Around, Anthony but, but, anyway. But I, I have read various um, literature or writings, especially on mainstream social media and, uh, and the mainstream media, uh, surrounding Paul Afoku and the way he's been treated. That from the onset, even before he would have his nomination approved to stand for that very position of chairmanship, all the odds were, were all against him. Now, coupled with the fact that there's a perception that his leadership and management style was not good enough, I mean, the way he was thrown out was not the best, even leading to cracks or perhaps uh, disaggregated um, opinions among even your um, members in parliament about the way he was, uh, he, he was suspended, so to speak. I'll, Shouldn't that be a concern for I'll, you as, I'll, a, as I'll, a political I'll, party? I'll take the parliamentary bit first. I don't think uh, that is right. Okay, I I've, spoken to, I, I, I've spoken to known leading members of your party in the minority in parliament and they have expressed express reservations about the way the national executive committee undertook their decision anyway th those are their opinions they are entitled to that and they're substantial That's members right. they hold, can't hold just on. be opinions are they hold on roland point is that the minority leader who would uh, normally represent the uh, minority on the committee was out of town okay the presidential candidate was out of town. Uh, former President Kufu was out of town. Are we saying that in their absence, no decision will be taken? There was a quorum. A decision was taken unanimously on behalf of the party. The decision has been carried through. It's been implemented. We all have our differences and opinions on these matters, and so we'll deal with that internally. Seriously, this whole issue about the minority leadership not being in uh, uh, cahoots with this issue, I seriously disagree. I heard Nitu yesterday, and that was not what he said. Be that as it may, Ernesto has actually made arguments as to why Paul shouldn't be there. You know this whole tribal issue? That was. Paul's campaign uh, uh, slogan. He, we need a, a northerner to be there to neutralize that perception. And I can tell you on authority, if there were any people within the party who were against Paul Afoko's uh, 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 candidature, 90% of them were northerners. And I can tell you on authority that the three northern regions refused to vote for Paul Afoko. He won that election because a central region overwhelmingly went for him because they fell for that uh, perception. Look at the whole process as to those who have been opposing Paul and uh, uh, asking for his removal, even the petitioners. They are not nice. It is because we know the person that we're dealing with better than anyone else knows. It is his way or no one's way. This is not gangsta paradise, please. We have a party to run. There are rules and regulations. You are not a lord unto yourself. And so if you cannot play by the rules of the game, I'm sorry you would have to go. This whole ethnicity issue 
uh, Ernesto, please don't buy into the NDC propaganda where they have made ethnicity uh, making their the number one assessment, uh, uh, propaganda campaign uh, tools. That everything in this country would have to be explained in the eyes of ethnic origins and political leanings. Paul Afoko, as an individual person, is not competent enough to lead the MPP. Under his stewardship, we have had a lot of fights breaking up, ending up in the police station and in the courts. He can go to court for redress. Mm. I seriously don't Some think Some of the fights, he didn't instigate the fights. He didn't? Yes. The last one at the headquarters, who, now, those who, were, who, now, were, who now, were chased up were his people. Now, 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 now Ernesto, um, the, we, we've had those representing him legally by way of his counsels and even the other groupings within the party whether they are on the minority side or not saying that they would want to seek redress on this very action because they are just not in agreement now in a situation where we've had the flag bearer of the party come to endorse the decision taken by the NEC that that pits the or pitches the flag bearer at one side and the polar focal camp on the other side does it um, look like there's a ground for consensus and, 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 and some kind of um, improvement in the relationship between the two? Fantastic question. There is a grounds for confusion. That is exactly what has been established. And the MPP would not be able to hold itself together as a party till 2016. And after that election is over. So you would see that the conflict in that party is much more deep-seated than probably ordinary ob observers like us would see. Mm. People are asking the question, what about people like um, the general secretary, Kobne Japon? I was totally embarrassed. I would have been, I mean, more embarrassed if it were my general secretary who went on air to say that he's eating fufu somewhere. I mean, it's it, but Kobne Japan's issue has not been touched, and it's like it feeds in into that tribal, how uh, do you call it, argument that people make of the, I mean, new patriotic party. Mm. My brother tries to dismiss that point, yet upholds it in another sense to say that the MPP made a mistake by voting for Paul Afoko because well, it he was believes on the that's basis a perception in and the, then goes the, on the to make the point he's of, in that party. You of, see, let's listen to him. Let's listen to him. He says that Ashanti region, the members of the new patriotic party who come from the Ashanti region were swayed by that propaganda and voted for Paul Afoko not because of his competence or his loyalty, but because of tribe, where he comes from. I think that is a very significant point. And I'm thankful that he has made it. Because none of us belong to that political party. And none of us can speak, I mean, uh, to, to, to the issue as authoritatively as he has done. So he acknowledges the tribal bit in all of this. So it's not like some NDC people, I'm not an NDC person. I'm but is it not rather he's saying that the perception that the MPP is a non account party really uh, is moot, is zilt, really non-existent as well? And so shouldn't even have been coming into the whole argument. But I'm, now, I'm playing into other well, aspects. I, I, I get your point. Talk about Kwabne Japan. So what about Kwabne Japan? What about his misconduct? What about that? So you are you, saying that only one person is being left to Only to one hand. person. I mean, and that's the... Um, impression or perception that the MPP As somebody who is in the CPP and in the opposition, are you worried about the current happenings in the MPP? Well, as a Democrat, I should be worried. But as a politician and a member of the Convention People's Party, I am not worried one bit. Because um, it's about tact. And my party has shown it. And the people of Ghana are looking at us. This time around, they know that we have an incompetent government, we have a dysfunctional, I mean, main opposition, and only the Convention People's Party is that alternative that they are looking for. Okay, now let's go on to the next. Uh, and we're talking about a forum that is supposed to have been uh, organized by, or is going to be organized by the Electoral Commission. Uh, they've put together, is it a five man committee yeah. uh, headed by one, is it Justice Crab? Okay. Yeah. And your party now is raising alarms. You don't like 
apparently him and two others. What's your difficulty? Oh, Roland, uh, <laughs> your question is a bit mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> we never said uh, we don't like uh, them. Well, they, you're raising concerns about the, concerns the neutrality that they have, on the subject. They have, oh, if you went on CTFM, CT Online, mm -hmm. uh, Justice Azukra uh, 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 um, uh, granted an interview, I think, on the 21st or thereabout of uh, August, okay? Emphatically stating that there was no need for a voters, a new voters register, and went ahead to pro, uh, 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 propagate uh, a solution. Okay. Uh, Doctor, was mm -hmm. Professor uh, Emmanuel Asante? I guess that's Reverend uh, yes, Professor. Pro yes. Expressed similar uh, views. Okay, on another platform. What did he say exactly? Especially that, that dry gentleman. What did he say? No, he 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 he, he, he was, was not categorical. No, was saying he was saying uh, he, he was he was saying that uh, what needs to be done needs to be done, and that the electoral commission needs to be left to take a decision. Is that not what he said? And you are he saying went, that because he, he commented on it. No, he went beyond that to say that we should not more or less push the electoral commission into coming to but what's an wrong with that? Oh, no coming to an agreement with our view okay? but what's wrong with that hold on point is that there is a process going on and let me bring the last person dr queno dr queno represented the ndc on a, a number of uh, committees and fora to do with the biometric elections a metric registration. 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 He was also on the exterior. And the day we confronted them, he was there. We have an issue with XTL as we speak. The UNDP is has indicated there's a report that shows that the problems we are having with this register has XTL all written over it. They are part of the problem. Now, somebody who has represented NDC. Two others who have taken a position on the matter. It's like asking the president. Who have they taken a position on? or they've expressed an opinion on the matter? But if your opinion is a position of the two uh, uh, positions before the, the panel, on what basis you should recuse yourself? You have no business sitting on that. You are not the only person. So if they don't, what happens? So you won't participate in tomorrow's if, event? If uh, you are not the only person uh, competent enough to sit on it. I am aware the party is going to have an, a, a meeting today. Uh, they have made inputs to the EC and I have called for an IPAC meeting today. There are other people who have neutral backgrounds. You know, the problem is that this issue has a lot to do with perception. And if we do not handle it well, the outcome of it could be the ramifications of the out uh, of uh, of the outcome could be uh, 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 quite dire, and so okay. we need we need to. to All right, uh, I had wanted you to later. comment, but Ernesto, uh, I have to end it here no because problem. my time is. I will have to do entertainment, and it's by Gladys Oredu, brought to you uh, by Etel as well. But I've had in the studio Richard Nyama, a member of the MPP's communication team. Richard, thanks for joining me, and also Ernesto Yabua the National Youth Organizer of the CPP. We're taking a break. When we come back, Gladys Arredo will be here with entertainment.